Hey, what's up, everybody? It's per pack, 10 packs per box. That's 400 cards, so it's a heavy one. Um, we haven't seen much of this this year. Ultra rare intergalactic inserts. There's also 20 Tom Brady autographs numbered one and one. So uh, we got a chance at that. A small one, but at least we got a chance. So there you go. There's your box. Old Tom Brady in a Patriots uniform. They didn't get them in the Tampa Bay uniform. And and let me tell you right now, this Tampa Bay stuff, it's got to stop. That's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Tampa Bay. It's ridiculous. Doesn't even sound good. All right. Four autographs in this box. As always, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Always a ton of fun for me. Sit here, chat about sports, look at some cards. Hopefully we pull something good. Want that Joe Burrow autograph. Uh, we, we've, done, we've got a Tua autograph on the channel. we got a Isaiah Simmons, and a, I think i got Jonathan Taylor. There's some, there's, the, there's some good ones on the channel. I'll go back and look if you uh, like that kind of stuff. All right. Here we go. Our first pack. 40 cards. I hope everybody out there is doing all right. I hope the sports come back soon. It's been uh, 100 days, I think, 99 days. We just hit 100 days without sports. And it's... Uh, Making us all very sad, I'm sure. You feel the same. Brandon Carr is going to start us off. Outstanding corner for your Ravens. Yannick Ndukwe. Nope, not even close. Joe Mixon. Excellent running back for the Bungles. Tremaine Edmonds. David DeCastro. Guard for your Steelers. Raekwon McMillan. A lot of potential. The photography looks pretty good so far. A lot of action shots, a lot of good shots. There's J.J. Watt. Uh, let's see. Give you a shot of the back. We haven't seen the back yet. So, Pretty standard for a base card from score. I like it. Nice, clean, white borders. You'll be able to pick up on centering problems real quick if we see any. Jameson Crowder. Let's back up and let's move these over here. Upside down, it's Xavier Woods, Austin Eckler, Demarcus Lawrence, couple of Cowboys for you. Darren Waller, young tight end for the Raiders. They're heading in the right direction. Royce Freeman, Jason Peters. What are you doing, cat? Get out of here. Can you hear that? The cat's going crazy over here, making all kinds of weird sounds. Chasing her tail like a crazy person. Vaughn Miller. He's heading to the Hall of Fame, right? Daniel Jones. There's an interesting player. The weight of the franchise on his shoulders. You expect uh, big things from him. Sammy. Upside down for Patrick Peterson, one of my favorite corners to watch play over the past decade or so. Austin Hooper, William Goldston, Kyle Rudolph, got to stay healthy. O.J. Howard, got an interesting tight end situation in Tampa Bay. You got uh, Grant coming in. Thatcher Games and Sports, what's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you go uh, support Thatcher Games and Sports. Um, you got Grant coming in. You got O.J. Howard. Uh, Camera break. I, I don't think they've done anything with him. I think you got three outstanding tight ends on the field. And if you want to protect a 40 something year old quarterback, it's not a bad thing to have. Jimmy Graham, Will Lutz, upside down at Steve Ford. And then it looks like in the middle here is where they stash some of the inserts. So those are coming up. James Bradbury in our first numbered card. 73 of 100. It's Royce Freeman. That's a good looking card. I like the blue border a lot. There you go. 73. Come on now. 
Oh, I'm sorry about that. Doesn't like that one. Some of the cards it just does not like. I apologize. 73 of 100 right there. It's got the blue score on the bottom, nothing on the back. I'll set that aside. That's a good looking card of Royce Freeman. Jake Fromm out of Georgia. My old lady's out of Georgia too, so I got an affinity for the state, I suppose. Jake Fromm. Had a good college career. Uh, who, who drafted him? He, he went it was, uh, Buffalo. He'll be backing up uh, um, Allen, Josh Allen. So um, he's got potential. He went a little lower in the draft than I thought. It's not numbered, but it's got the pretty cool waves going through it. Bachelor Games and Sports. He likes. He likes that Royce Freeman. He likes the, those Oregon guys. Breakthrough, it's Cooper Cup. He's a good player. Had an injury last year. Hope he comes back strong. A very productive player when he's on the field. Austin Eckler, Emmanuel Sanders, and Drew Brees, fantasy stars. Who doesn't like to have a Drew Brees card, huh? I like Drew Brees. I wonder how the, oh, the Dolphins. Drew Brees or Dante Culpepper? Look what happened. Calvin Ridley. Outstanding receiver for your Falcons. I like him a lot, and he's learning from one of the best that's ever done it in Julio Jones. Calabion Chasen. We got LaVesca Chenault Jr., Sean McKeon. T. Higgins, rookie, heading to the Cincinnati Bengals. He'll be catching balls from Joe Burrow. Excellent. Jeff Akuda. We've opened a lot of cards this year, and we have that. This is the first Akuda I think I've seen. Um, I haven't seen any Chase Young at all, so hopefully we get some of him too. Uh, he was what the second, or I'm sorry, third, third overall pick in the draft. Come on, yeah, third overall to the Lions. He's going to be a good player. No doubt about it. That's a good rookie to have. We got to Brandon Ayuk, wide receiver, also went in the first round, if I remember correctly. Jalen Hurts, he'll be backing up, uh, who was it? Carson Wentz. Uh, he was going to Philadelphia. Um, good to have somebody backing up once that can play. We'll see how he develops over the next couple of years. Tommy Stevens, another rookie, and Jordan Elliott. So it looks like they're stashing the rookies in the back and the inserts in the middle. Put that insert aside. We'll make a little rookie pile here. Keep those separate, I suppose. All right, pack number two. Some good rookies, a numbered card. Not a bad start, I suppose. Justin Houston. Lamar Jackson, there he is. Absolute beast. Fun player to watch. Nick Foles. Big stick Nick. Justin Tucker. That's a kicker card. Can't get too excited about that, right? He's good. He's he's damn good. Leonard Fournette, upside down. Faker Mayfield. Jumping through the air. That's a good shot. Those poop brown uniforms. That's a horrible uniform. Browns, uniforms. What are you doing, man? Not not a He's got talent. There's no doubt Baker Mayfield has talent. It's, just, it's the maturity and, and all that stuff. It's We'll see how it goes. You got Shaq Lawson, Deontay Johnson, Christian Wilkins. They're expecting big things from him down in Miami. Leighton Vander Esch. That is super sticky. What's going on there? Chris Jones. Zeke Elliott. I had some maturity issues, too. Absolute beast of a running back, though. Melvin Gordon's good. Sat out last year a little bit. I think that hurt him. What do you say? Oh, yeah, Zeke. 
yeah, the, the COVID nineteen sneaking up on the uh, the Cowboys. They got major problems down there right now. I'm I'm afraid. There's another Cowboy, Blake Jarwin. I'm afraid we might not get any football. I don't think we're going to get any baseball or or basketball the way those negotiations are going. I don't know. It's it's crazy. JJ Arcega Whiteside, Philip Lindsay, outstanding running back for your Broncos, Evan Ingram. I like him a lot. Going to be a very good tight end for a long time. Aaron Donald, the man, strolling to the Hall of Fame as soon as he's done playing. Grady Jarrett, Jordan Hicks, Anthony Barr, excellent player. Jason Pierre, Paul Darnell Savage Jr., Mike Evans, big time. He comes off the field a lot. I'd like to see him get more snaps, but he's an absolute beast when he's on the field. Hard to cover, long, can jump, ridiculous athlete. Jared Davis, upside down for Cameron Jordan. Alvin Kamara, one of my favorite players to watch in the league, no doubt about it. He is a fun player to watch. Thatcher thinks basketball is going to get going. He thinks they'll reach an agreement. Everybody wants to make money, but, man, these – I don't know. Now, this one has a gray border. I don't see a number. It says scorecard on it there where none of the others have. Nothing going on back there. But that is an insert, a scorecard insert of Kamara. Love watching that dude run the ball. And there's our first Chase Young of the year on the channel. We have not seen him at all. So that's our first one, and it's going to be one of those swirly background inserts. Blue border. That's a good looking card. I like it. I like it a lot. Going to the Washington Redskins at the second overall pick. I keep losing my list. We'll put that aside and upside down. All hands team, Chris Godwin. He'll be catching balls from Tom Brady now, and that's a good thing. Celebration, Lamar uh, Jackson and Marshall Yonda. Yonda's a Hall of Famer, right? Chris Carson, breakthrough. I like the breakthrough cards. And then our rookies, Justin Jefferson, outstanding wide receiver. Cole Komet. Tight end, I believe he was the first tight end off the board. Darius Anderson out of TCU. Bryce Perkins, quarterback. Jamichael Hasty. That's a good name for a running back, right? Hasty. Yeah. Michael Warren out of the University of Cincinnati. Excellent. Kelly Bryant. There's another Chase Young. There's the Chase Young rookie card. Excellent. And Henry Ruggs, he was their first receiver off the board to the Raiders. The autumn wind is a Raider. Not grab that. There we go. My goodness, it's late. It's late on the East Coast. It's like uh, one thirty in the morning. Or something. <laughs> Struggling with that pack. All right, Duke Johnson Jr. gets us going again. Now in Houston, he's a good running back. Catch the ball, uh, not too bad. Picking up uh, the blitz. I like Duke Johnson. Robbie Anderson. He's no longer in New York. Can't remember where he's going. Is he? Do they? I can't remember. I'm getting old. The memory ain't what she used to be. Naheem Hines, Miles Boykin, Chris Conley, Gus Edwards. Upside down for Jamie Collins. David and Juco. And Joku. Pardon me. David and Joku. Got a lot of potential. I'd like to see him uh, be a little more consistent this year. 
Craig Tredavious White, pardon me, Derek Wolf. Some of these are kind of sticky. Jalen Smith, Tyreek Hill, he's a turd and a <clears throat> Dak Prescott. You got Demarcus Robinson, Zach Martin, outstanding offensive lineman for your Cowboys. Jerry Tillery. Carry on, Johnson, good young player. Michael Gallup's another good young player. Tevin Coleman. Christian McCaffrey, one of my favorite running backs to watch right now. Absolute stud. Can do everything. He can, he can do everything very well. Todd Gurley, we'll see what happens with Todd Gurley. Matt Ryan, he's getting up there to see if uh, the Falcons can make a push at the end of his career here. Kenyon Drake. Irv Smith, the junior. Coming into his second year, I expect him to be a very good player. Um, Kyle Rudolph, a little injury prone, so I think he'll get on the field a little uh, uh, a little bit more than your average second-year player. That's a, really the first group of cards. There's been a few of them that are pushed off to the left a little bit. A little bit of centering issues, but not horrible. Devin White and then Aaron Rodgers. There you go, running in the snow at Lambeau. Always good to have an Aaron Rodgers card. And then we start with our inserts. Darius Slay Jr., number to 20. That is a beautiful card. That kind of a pinkish red border. And the team color there with the blue. Super shiny all the way around. And... Hard to see, but it says, what's that, 18 of 20. That is a pretty card. Nothing fancy on the back, but I like that a lot. It's a good-looking card. Fantasy stars one more time. Lamar Jackson, Christian Kirk, and Derrick Henry. Man, Derrick Henry. Talk about Beast Mode Jr. Dude is a monster. Joe Mixon, under the radar. Second round pick for the Bungles a couple years ago. A ton of potential. See if he can get going this year. And, uh, you know, there's no better way to protect a rookie quarterback than Joe Burrow than to have a good running game. So, rooting for Joe Mixon this year. A.J. Dillon, out of Boston College. There was a deep, it's one of the swirly background cards. Thatcher, Thatcher Games and Sports likes that. Darius Slay, I do too. A.J. Dillon out of Boston College. A lot of good running backs in this draft. A lot of give just a deep draft over all the receiver. Let's see. All hands, D.J. Moore. It's a good picture. And our rookies, A.J. Terrell. So we haven't run into one of our autographs. we still got four autographs to go. Sean Bradley. Kenneth Murray. What's that? Kalijah Lipscomb. Mitchell Wilcox. And our first Joe Burrow. Very nice. In an Ohio State uniform. How about that? Maybe, uh, hopefully, we'll get the LSU uniform, too. Our first Joe Burrow. There he is. C.J. Henderson, Denzel Mims, and Salvan Ahmed. Joe Burrow, in my opinion, is the best quarterback come out of college since Andy Luck. Dude has the potential to be an absolute stud and a game changer for a franchise that has been absolutely inept for the past 30 years. Hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully he can turn it around. Man, it's man, it's hard to be optimistic when you live in Cincinnati, though. When you know what's going on here with the the horrible ownership and the bad decisions, it's it's really, really hard to be optimistic. But this is about as good as I felt ever since uh, I guess 1988. <laughs> Jamal Adams, he wants out of New York. He just uh. They announced today that he wants a trade. 
Um, so there's one of the best safeties in the game on the market. He's what do you say? Won like seventeen million dollars. Um, I mean, dude is really really good. It's hard to pay a safety quite that much, um, but it's going to be interesting to see where he ends up. I heard the Ravens were near at the top of his list where he wanted to go, and uh, you throw him into the mix there, and you really got a team that's scary. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Terrell Edmonds. For your Steelers, keeping it. <laughs> Sony Michelle, pardon me. Jarvis Landry, absolute beast. I love watching Jarvis play. Jordan Poyer, Denzel Ward, another brownie for you. Mike Gasecki, Laramie Tunsil, wearing a helmet instead of a mask this time. Patrick Chung, Terry McLaurin. Upside down for Danny Amendola still in the league. <laughs> Hunter Renfro, good young player for y'all Raiders. Akeem Hicks. Jonathan Abram. He uh, was injured last year uh, during his rookie campaign, but a very talented player. Uh, I like him a lot. Tariq Cohen. Good third down back. A.J. Brown. Had an outstanding rookie campaign with the Titans last year. We'll see if he can keep it up. The sophomore slump is a very real thing. I don't get into spooky stuff, but uh, there's something to that, man. There's something to the Madden curse, and there is something about a guy's second year. The sophomore slump is real, and I can't explain it. Landon Collins, let me know what you think in the comments or in the chat box there. Sophomore slump, is it a real thing or not? Jarrell Casey. Kyler Murray, the future of the Arizona Cardinals. Outstanding rookie campaign. We'll see if he can keep it up. Aaron Jones running the ball in Green Bay. Ronald Jones running the ball in Tampa Bay. A couple Joneses in the bases. Jadavion Clowney. And, nope, not to the insert yet. Ted Ginn Jr. DK Metcalf. Uh, I was very high on him coming out of the draft last year. Um, and he really developed nicely, catching the ball well in Seattle. Um, I expect him to have a big-time career. DJ Moore, George Kittle, obviously uh, one of the best tight ends in the game. Phillips Lindsay, that's our second with the gray border, the scorecard. This time it's Philip Lindsay. Under the radar, Mike Williams. Those are good-looking cards. I like those. Another swirly. This time is Tua. There we go. Our first Tua of the night. It's an insert. We're going to call them the swirly inserts because I didn't bother to look up the checklist, see what they're actually called. I'm lazy like that. Oh. <laughs> Nick Bosa. There you go. Another outstanding young player. Pass rusher for your San Francisco 49ers, and I think we got our first autograph. We do. It's a sticker auto of Kareem Hunt. A veteran auto. That's kind of interesting. I was expecting rookies. Kareem Hunt. Let's check out his autograph. Just a bunch of swirls and lines and look like you run off he ran off the sticker there. Oh, no, no, never mind. No, it's all in the sticker. It's just goofy. There's nothing to read there. Let's get one of these out. Whoops, get this back here. Kareem Hunt, our first autograph. Big time stuff. Our rookies, Colin Johnson. You got uh, DJ Dallas. If he didn't end up with the Cowboys, something's wrong. Shea Patterson, Kamal Martin, Van Jefferson out of Florida, Jared Pinkney, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, nailed it, Jake Luton, and J.K. Dobbins, another one of those. Very good running backs in the draft this year. Let me move this. South of the border. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good to see you again, my friend. 
I hope you're doing well. I certainly do appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you, all you guys stopping by. It's nice you got the, quite a few people watching. Score is a good product. Uh, year to year, it's it's pretty pretty good product. It, it typically looks pretty good. And typically nothing fancy, but um, generally year to year, it's a decent product with some decent inserts. And I've had pretty good luck. I, the first one I opened, the first score pack I opened on the channel, I think had a had a um, uh, Patrick Mahomes relic in it. So. Um, seen some good stuff come out of score, retail and hobby. Quentin Nelson's going to be one of the best guards in the league over the next 10 years. Doesn't have injuries. You're looking at a Hall of Fame career, possibly. Paris Campbell, good young receiver. I think it'll take really a, another year or possibly two for him to reach his full potential. A little bit raw, but very talented physically. C.J. Mosley, an absolute beast. See, they had Mosley. If you're going to build a good defense, look at the great defenses. you got to be strong up the middle, right? You're talking nose tackle, middle linebacker, safety. And they had C.J. Mosley. They had um, what's-his-face backing him up out there, and, and now he wants traded, so Jamal Adams. So um, I don't know. The Jets defense seems to be heading in the wrong direction now if he gets traded. They said they're not going to trade him, but. Uh, you know how it goes. Minka Fitzpatrick talking about trades, a bad one for the Dolphins, I think. Uh, you had an absolute stud safety, and you let him go. It's it's hard to find a safety like that. And they had him on a rookie deal for a few more years. It didn't make a lot of sense to me. Tom Brady in a Patriots uniform. We'll see if they – they probably don't have anything in a you – know, they probably didn't Photoshop a Tampa Bay card, do you, do you think? Ryan Finley. He'll be backing up a Joe Burrow. Ed Oliver, going to be an absolute stud. Really like him a lot. Defensive tackle for your Buffalo Bills. Olivier Vernon. Did he? He got arrested? I got, if you're familiar with the channel, my buddy Luke is often here with me. I'm actually talking to him on the phone. Um, so if you hear me talking to, I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> I'm not going crazy. Uh, Malcolm Jenkins. What would you say? Um, Ed Oliver got Got arrested? Ah, oh, I didn't know that. So it sounds like Ed Oliver had a little trouble. I'll have to look into that, see what's going on. If any of you guys know, let me in the comments. Know it. Oh, jeez. Let me know in the comments below. Malcolm Jenkins. Cortland Sutton. Upside down for Hunter Henry. A good young player. Some potential there. Kyle Fuller. Tyrell Williams. Mitch Trubisky. Oh, it's not looking good for Mitch in Chicago right now. LaMarcus Joyner, Ryan Kerrigan, outstanding player, Corey Davis, Xavier Rhodes, Robert Woods, Zadarius Smith, Christian Kirk, an outstanding young player. He'll catch a lot of passes from Kyler Murray over the course of his career. I'd like to see both those guys stay healthy. It'll be a nice, uh, nice tandem there in Arizona. Matt Prater, our second kicker of the night. Nice. Got to get those kickers. Upside down is Von Bell. You got Rashad Penny, Brian Burns, and then I think, nope, Kyle. Go big. Kyle. Kyle, the fullback. He's, he's an outstanding player. Juicy kick. Not even going to try it. Upside down, Jameis Winston, the blue border showcase card. Number to 100. If you want a card number to 100, it's you definitely want that card to have Jameis Winston on it. <laughs> Upside down, another Fantasy Stars card. Lamar Jackson, Chris Godwin, and Leonard Fournette. Yeah, I think he'll be backing up Tom or, uh, Drew Brees. Jameis Winston this year. Uh, Blake Martinez, under the radar. J.K. Dobbins, outstanding. Where to uh, look that up for me real quick? I can't remember. I think he went in the second round. J.K. Dobbins. J.K., that's a, 
I really do like these swirly background cards. They're good looking cards. DUI and a weapons charge for Ed Oliver. Ooh, that's that's no good. Outstanding talent though. Second round, J.K. Dobbins went to the Ravens. They did have a good draft. Ra Ravens had an outstanding draft. They typically do. That's kind of what they do up there in Baltimore. Tyler Lockett, all hands team. That's a sticky one. And our rookies, going to start out with Keyshawn Vaughn. Jordan Love. Now, they uh, he's going to Green Bay, and he's backing up Aaron Rodgers, and apparently Aaron Rodgers was all butthurt about it, then picking a, a uh, you know, he wanted a receiver or whatever. And they can definitely use some skill positions, but when your quarterback's 36 years old and he's been beat up a little bit the past couple of years, I don't see the controversy. The pit made perfect sense to me. Jordan Love was the best available quarterback. I thought they got good value on him in terms of potential. Um, he's a developmental guy for sure. He's not going to come in and do anything right away, but I thought it was a good pick. I didn't understand all the kerfuffle about it. Derek Brown. Donovan Peoples-Jones, let me know. What do you think? What do you guys think about the Jordan Love situation? Should Aaron Rodgers be mad about that? Cheyenne O'Grady, A.J. Dillon, oops, Anthony Gordon, K.J. Hamler, second-round pick. We got a redemption of him coming in autograph. And Antonio Gandy-Golden. I can't remember where he went, but uh, they got a decent value on him. Um, he's, a, he's a decent player, Gandy-Golden. Um, yeah, right. no, I can't remember. Be interesting to see how his career is going. Alan Hearn's going to start us off. Man, some of these are just real sticky. Will Fuller, he's really good when he's healthy. Jason McCourty, upside down for Matt Judon. T.Y. Hilton, Quinn and Williams. Joe Hayden, Mohamed Say. Oh, that was a little high there, sorry. John Ross, he's fast, but man. Lacking some consistency, his hands have to improve. So much physical talent just hasn't really worked out yet. We'll see. We'll see if he's any better with Joe Burrow at the helm. Alshon Jeffrey, Derrick Henry, such a stud. Fletcher Cox, he's an absolute beast. He's a Hall of Famer, right? Roquan Smith, Mike Williams, Trey Burton, Derwin James Jr. Ooh, Jr. Uh, Montez Sweat, um, what, he, he broke his leg or something last year, right? Bama Cars, what's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we got four packs to go and three more autos, so plenty of good stuff to come here. Montez Sweat, outstanding uh, resume coming in to the NFL, and then he got injured, so we'll, we'll see if he can fight back from that. Um, certainly wish all those young guys the best when they get get injured it's a horrible thing to see y'all you, know, you want to see these guys stay healthy Vic Beasley Jr. Emmanuel Sanders Dalvin Cook he's a very very talented young player for your Minnesota Vikings Cooper Cup he was injured last year Jamal Williams Larry Fitzgerald future Hall of Famer absolute stud um, when you're a young quarterback like Kyler Murray and a young receiver like Christian Kirk, it's really, really nice, I'm sure, to have a guy like Larry Fitzgerald around, one of the smartest players in the league. Absolute stud, and I love him. Love watching him play football. Trey Flowers, Drew Brees, another guy that'll stroll right to the Hall of Fame when he's done. Absolute beast. Chris Carson, and now our inserts. Cole McDonald. I said earlier this year, if there's a sleeper quarterback in this draft, it will be Cole McDonald. I can't remember who ended up picking him up, but they got a great deal. I think he ended up going down like the fifth round. Um, 
But if he ever gets a chance to play, and sometimes a talented player doesn't, they just end up in a position where they're back up their whole career and never get a, a, an opportunity. But if he gets a chance to play, he might be pretty good. So a scorecard gray bordered Cole McDonald out of Hawaii. Oh, no, we haven't certain what it. Uh, I hope it goes well, Bama. Bama's having some surgery. Bama card 17. Make sure you go support his channel. Uh, sorry to hear that, buddy. I hope it goes well. Celebration. Uh, the Steelers having a good time there. Oh, we'll put this in the insert pile up top here. Josh Allen, the breakthrough, an outstanding player. I Coming out of college, he had some accuracy issues. You know, I thought that might haunt him in the NFL, but he really cleaned it up. He, he's, he's protecting the football. He moves a little bit better than I thought he would. Um, good player, Josh Allen. Upside down, fantasy stars. Who do we got? Nick Chubb, Chris Godwin again, and Jameis Winston. There's our second autograph, K.J. Hamler. This will be my second KJ Hamler auto. I had a, we opened a prism box that we got a KJ Hamler redemption. Sticker auto KJ Hamler, wide receiver out of Penn State. In the second round, uh, you remember who picked him up, Luke? Second round to Denver, a team that does need some outside help. So um, it, it's always important. You look at where these receivers, uh, these skill position guys go. You got to get snaps on the field. You have to play against NFL caliber linebackers and corners. So getting early snaps is a really, really important thing, I think, for, for young skill position players. And K.J. Hamler, he has a chance to do that. Um, he'll be behind Cortland Sutton. Um, well, yeah, I think he'll get on the field a little bit rookie year. Always a good thing. Lynn Bowden, Jr., into the rookies here. Upside down for Trayvon Diggs. It's Seth on Diggs' little brother, I believe. Chase Claypool, Grant Delpit, Zach Bond. You got Isaiah Simmons. There we go. We got his autograph earlier this year. Um, it's on the channel if you want to check it out. Outstanding player. He took like 100 different snaps in college at four different positions. Um, extremely versatile in this new NFL where where. There's so much activity pre-snap, and you're changing things at the line. To have a guy that's so versatile it can be wildly beneficial if you know how to use them. If they don't use them right, it could be a disaster. But uh, there's a lot of smart people in the NFL. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Isaiah Simmons, keep an eye on him. He's going to be good. Jerry Judy, another really good prospect this year. Um, Henry Ruggs first to the Raiders in terms of wide receivers. I thought Jerry Judy was probably going to be the first receiver off the board. So um, in, a, in a class of a lot of really good receivers, uh, I think he's right at the top. Jake Breland and Cam Akers. There's the rookie pile. There it is. We got four packs to go and two more autographs. Kareem Hunt, KJ Hamler, sticker autos. Mildly annoying. We picked up on the. Uh, sorry if I'm missing anything in the live chat there, guys. This pack is not cooperating. All right, four more packs, two more autos. Let's see what happens. Julian Edelman getting up there in age. He has lost Tom Brady. We'll see what happens. Jermaine Pratt. Jermaine Pratt. Man, Cincinnati. Josh Allen one more time. There's another Kareem Hunt. Devontae Parker. Interesting. Um, you know, pardon me. Let me get a drink real quick. <clears throat> Devontae Parker came out of college with a lot of high expectations. First round pick for the Dolphins. And it just never really worked out. 
Um, some injuries held him back early on, but he seemed to have a, a, a reach a turning point last year and uh, better for him over the, the second half. But uh, happens with Devontae Parker. He's wildly talented physically. See if we can put it all together with uh, Tua down there. Tyler Boyd, Adam Vinatieri, our third kicker. All right, we're going to corner the market on kickers. Marcus Peters, Casey Hayward, Miles Sanders. You got uh, Clell Clell Clellan Farrell. Say it five times fast. That's a lot of L's. Clellan Farrell, outstanding uh, young player. They, he, they got a... Um, they got some flack for picking him. Um, they got a flack for picking a lot of guys the past couple of years. But what's that, Luke? Yeah, he went a little bit earlier than uh, they thought he would. But uh, it looks like he's going to be a good player for the Raiders. DeAndre Baker, another good young player. That one for the Giants. Oh, he did. He got arrested. I remember hearing something about that. Do you remember what for? Cleveland Farrell. Pardon me. Pardon me, Bama Cards. <laughs> A.J. Bowie. Yeah, DeAndre Baker. I did hear something about him getting arrested. I can't remember what for. Sterling Shepard. Riley Ridley. Damian Williams, Adrian Peterson, future Hall of Famer, no doubt. Shaquille Griffin, Eric Reed, Russell Wilson, one of my favorite players to watch. It's really fun. Uh, having, um, I almost said J.K. Simmons, and that ain't right. <laughs> having D.K. Metcalf um, up there is going to be a lot of fun to watch those two for the next few years. Desmond Trufant's up next. Richard Sherman. Alexander Madison. Greg Zerline. The kickers keep on coming. Blake Martinez. Chandler Jones. Ridiculously good player. And our inserts for the pack. It's Jacob Hollister. Gray bordered scorecard card. Upside down, we got Devin Singletary. Um... Good young player for the Bills. Uh, suffered some injuries last year, but he's wildly talented, uh, wildly athletic. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, Bama, um, Tom Brady does sign this product. There's 20 one-of-ones um, plus uh, uh, some other stuff. But, um, yeah, definitely get yourself a chance at a Brady Auto with this product. And that's always a good thing. Joe Burrow swirly card. Very nice. Very nice. In his LSU uniform. Outstanding. Blue border. A little bit different on the back than most of the cards. That's a good one. I like that a lot. I am in Cincinnati. So if I get a little overly excited about the Joe Burrow, you'll have to forgive me. He's going to lead us to the promised land, the Cincinnati Bungles. DJ Moore, breakthrough. And then our third autograph, I think, Zach Moss. Ooh, let's get a better look at that. Running back for Utah. Zach Moss, you can kind of read the Zach. Moss is kind of an M and a scribble. Third round pick for the Buffalo Bills. So uh, who do they got up there then? You're looking at Devin Singletary, Zach Moss. So yeah, he's going to get touches this year. Hopefully they're good touches and productive touches. Since I got his autograph, I'll be rooting for him. Been a little bit of a love affair between Cincinnati and Buffalo over the past couple of years. We got him into the playoffs a few years ago. Yeah, beat the Ravens and got them in. 
Who we got? Juwan Johnson starts off our rookies. Thaddeus Moss, a tight end for your LSU Tigers, um, went undrafted, if I, didn't he? Didn't uh, Minnesota come in and sign him? Tredavious Moss, or Thaddeus Moss, pardon me, um, is Randy Moss's son. So uh, good genetics there. Wildly athletic. How tall is he? 6'3", He went to Washington, not uh, Minnesota. It was Washington that picked him up. But uh, interested to see if he can uh, do something in the NFL. He was very good in college. Tyler Johnson, upside down. It's Noah hmm. Igben... I killed this during the draft. I had to pronounce this during the draft, and I killed it. Igbenogany. Ig Igbenogany. Nailed it. C.D. Lamb. He's, uh, he went a little lower than people thought. Uh, he dropped down to the Cowboys at pink number 17 or something like that. Um, so the Cowboys got a very good deal on an outstanding wide receiver out of Oklahoma. There's Zach Moss one more time. There he is. Uh, there's his auto, and there's his base card. They pretty much just had him sign the sticker, send it back, and slapped it on a base card. Nothing fancy. <laughs> Nate Stanley, you got uh, Ross Blacklock. He took, uh, if I remember correctly, a little bit of injuries in college, but he's a really talented player, and I think he fell into the second round. Um might be some good value there on Ross Blacklock. And Jalen Rieger, another one of those outstanding players from a deep wide receiver group this year. We have one more auto go, and we got three packs left. As always, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Always a ton of fun to sit here and chat sports. Juwan Johnson went undrafted, but I think he will be good. Thatcher Games likes Juwan Johnson. An undrafted player. I love hearing uh, tidbits about undrafted players because there's so many. I think like, like half the league is undrafted. And there's a lot of undrafted guys play football in the NFL. So um, it's always good to hear good things about those guys. Let me catch up over here on the let's see. <laughs> Igbenogany killing you guys. That's funny. Juju Smith Schuster. Gets us going again. Let me put this back up here. Kalen Balage, Carlos Hyde, Stefan Gilmore, Marlon Mack, Marquise Brown, Hollywood Brown, they call him, I think. DJ Chark, upside down for Mason Rudolph. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Mason Rudolph, is he the future? In Pittsburgh, or are they going to have to figure something else out? I think he has some potential. Things didn't look great last year. Matthew Stafford, Tajay Sharp, Marvin Jones Jr., Marcus Mariota. Mar Marvin Jones Jr., it's worth mentioning. He carved out himself a nice little career. Good player. Khalil Mack, speaking of good players, he's a really good one. Drew Locke, the future in Denver, I think he's going to be good. Um, I think he'll take some steps forward this year. Allen Robinson, Noah Fant, he's heading to Denver as well. He's the first receiver pick, or the, pardon me, the first tight end picked um, last year's draft. So um, trying to get some pieces around Drew Locke. Zay Jones, upside down again. It's Chris Godwin. Seen him quite a few times tonight, in the fantasy cards in particular. <clears throat> Quandre Diggs. You got Michael Thomas, one of my favorite receivers to watch. You <clears throat> get the chance to see one of the best quarterbacks that's ever done it. Throw to an outstanding young receiver. And Michael Thomas, it's a lot of fun, and I like it. I like watching the Saints play. Alvin Kamara's a beast. You got Raheem Mostert. 
very good in the playoffs last year. Young Ho Ku. Young Ho. Right? Sure. Kicker. More kickers. Jared Goff. You got Harrison Smith. Very good player. David Johnson. Um, I had him on a fantasy team last year. It was absolutely brutal. We'll see if he can get uh, back to his old form this year. Rashawn Gary? I don't know. What's that? Eno Benjamin. Yeah, David Johnson with the Texans now. So, uh, gray bordered scorecard Eno Benjamin. Rookie. Another fantasy stars, Aaron Rodgers, Marvin Jones Jr., and Chase Edmonds. Under the radar, Kirk Cousins. I like the under the radar cards. They're pretty good looking cards. And Justin Herbert. Now, he went sixth overall to the Chargers. And I think it's a good pick. I think Tua's injury is terrifying. A guy with that much athletic ability who can run around and get things done with his feet, having a, a lower body injury is scary. When it's a hip, it's even scarier. It's a very hard injury. Uh, you know, like you're talking about a broken bone in the pelvis. It's very, very difficult. So personally, I thought Miami should have taken Justin Herbert at five and let uh, the Chargers take more risk at six with Tua. Um, I'm not a big risk taker when it comes to the draft, and, and that hip is terrifying. Obviously, I wish Tua all the best. I hope he has a great career, but um, Miami may end up regretting that. If Justin Herbert's good in San Diego or Los Angeles, then um, and they have trouble with Tua, that might that might really sting in a couple years. So, Justin Herbert, I think it was a good pick, good value down at six, and our fourth autographed Michael Warren the second out of the University of Cincinnati, green bordered. I don't see any. Number, so it's not numbered, but it is different than our other autograph. Grant, Grant Moyes, what's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, it's in Bama. You think Dobbs has a chance in, uh, in Pittsburgh? So Michael Warren, uh, pits by picked by Philadelphia. Running back out of Cincinnati, green border, undrafted player. And uh, that brings us to our rookies here. Let me catch up on the. Sorry if I miss anything in the chat, guys. Thatcher's a duck fan. All right, let's take a look here. Our rookies, Steven Montez, Javon Kinlaw, a very good defensive tackle. Um, I can't remember who picked him, but they got a good deal on him. I think he slid a little bit. John Hightower, Colby Parkinson, DeAndre Swift, a very good running back. I think he's ended up in uh, Detroit. Is that right? I'm getting older. Speaking of Jalen Hurts there, who's talking about that, Bama? Here's a Jalen Hurts rookie for you. Backing up Carson Wentz. James Robinson upside down for LaMichael Perrine. And Justin Herbert, another Justin Herbert. Put those in the rookie pile. We got two packs left. Let's, uh, let's hope for something good here. How about a, a number Joe Burrow rookie or something like that? <clears throat> I don't think we're going to pull that one-on-one -on -one Tom Brady tonight. 
Sorry to get your hopes up there. <laughs> James White always shows up in the playoffs. Odell Beckham Jr., a volatile player, obviously a wildly talented player. Uh, we'll see how long the experiment lasts in Cleveland. Dawson Knox. Grady Williams, very good player. Josh Rosen, that ain't working out. Deshaun Watson. Kyle Van Noy. Oh, no. Get back up there. Jacoby Brissett. You got Marcus May. Upside down, it's TJ Hawkinson. Amari Cooper. Kenny Galladay. Taylor Luan. David Montgomery. Cameron Wake. Hey, I got some uh, other stuff in there. Anybody, uh, since there's so many people around, you guys want to open something else? I got a box of uh, Sage. Hit. It's got 16 autographs if you want to do that. I also have a box of something called Cooperstown that I have no idea what it is. If you want to see some baseball tonight, let me know if you guys want me to do another video when this is over. After I stop here, I can go, uh, you know, get her going in about 10 minutes. Cameron Wake, Bryce Love, Deshaun Hamilton, and Dominican Sue. Big time player, dirty player in my opinion. Ashawn Robinson, Marcus Davenport, and he's a good player. That's a good picture. I like that. Running out of the tunnel, smoke going on. Tyler Lockett, Gerald McCoy, Jimmy Garoppolo, Devontae Freeman, Brandon Cooks, Kirk Cousins. Boom. What is that? One of one printing plate. Deshaun Watson diving into the end zone. We got a hot box. We already got our four autos. Look at that. South of the border. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Super shiny, and at the top, one of one. Awesome. Deshaun Watson, obviously a wonderfully talented player, uh, both with his arm and his legs. I was not expecting a one of one. I really wasn't. And then, uh, no, we still got one more pack. Not quite the last, second to last pack, but. They're definitely some good mojo. Very nice. Well, I told Luke earlier that the box felt heavy. Not that you can feel one. But the box was so heavy. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Oh, man. Once I pulled that fourth autograph, I was like, well, this box is over. You know, we'll see some cool inserts or whatever. Boom. And then you hit a one-on-one. -on -one. How about that? How about that? All right, Austin Eckler breakthrough card. I like those a lot. The celebration cards. I'm just a very, I'm not a big fan of how that those cards look. The celebration and the uh, all hands team. Uh, that's the Packers. They're just I don't know. Don't care for them. Not their best inserts. If I'm going to rank their inserts, Zach Ertz. Upside down, Derek Brown. Out of Auburn, it's got the swirlies behind him there. You got our rookies now, AJ Epenisa. Nope, sorry. Gabriel Davis, Xavier McKinney, Anthony McFarland Jr., Ryan Lewerke, KJ Hill. Benjamin Victor, a couple players out of the Ohio State University. Michael Pittman Jr., very good wide receiver. And A.J. Green, 
Not that A.J. Green. He's a cornerback out of is that Oklahoma State. All right, there you go. That's that pack. We got one last pack. Let, let me know. You guys want to open some baseball or football after this? I got 16 more autographs in a sage box in there if anybody's interested. Or I can wait till tomorrow. What's up to you guys? I got that Cooperstown box. I have no idea what it is. It just says Cooperstown on it. It's, I didn't look into a checklist or anything. It might be something cool in it. I have no idea. What else do I got in here? I got some random retail. All right. Our last pack. Before I do that, let me just thank you guys. Always a ton of fun to hang out. I appreciate the uh, likes and the support and the chat stuff. Um, it always makes it a ton of fun when you guys participate. I appreciate it. Devin Singletary is going to start off our last pack. Miles Garrett. <laughs> that was funny. The whole hitting the guy with the helmet and uh, this stuff was crazy. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I like chaos in my football from time to time. Not all the time, but a little bit here and there. Preston Williams. I don't see the name Preston too often, so why not? I root for a guy named Preston, and he's down in Miami. I'm a Dan Marino fan. It makes sense. Sending good vibes to Preston Williams. DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, Trade it. Couldn't believe it. I think uh, I don't think it was a good move. I'm not a big fan of what uh, uh, Bill O'Brien's been doing down there as a general manager. Good coach, possibly, but not so much on the GM side of things. D.D. Westbrook, or maybe three years from now, he'll be winning Super Bowls, and I'll look like an idiot for saying that. Who knows? But right now, I don't know. Not impressed. Earl Thomas, third. He will stroll into the Hall of Fame when he's done. One of my favorite players to watch play over the past decade or so. Jordan Aikens. You got Quincy Anunua. T.J. Watt. Carl Joseph. Derek Barnett, Calais Campbell, absolute stud. It was a good interview, too. All around good guy, Calais Campbell, from what I hear. Leonard Williams. Ryan Tannehill came into Tennessee and changed the program. Um, got them moving in the right direction. Marcus Mariota never worked out for him. He had a ton of potential coming into the league, and he was young and raw, and I think Miami picked him a little too high, but then they just threw him to the wolves. I mean, you're talking about a guy that took 50-plus sacks three years in a row to start his career. I mean, you can't. It's hard to overcome that. So nice to see Ryan Tannehill bouncing back with the Titans. Miko Hardman, Jr., absolute speedster for your Kansas City Chiefs. We haven't seen that Patrick Mahomes. No, no Mahomes tonight. Taylor Gabriel, Keenan Allen, Darius Geis, got a, he uh, was injured during his rookie campaign, but he's wildly talented. Hopefully he comes back strong. Curtis Samuel, Quan Alexander, Julio Jones, absolute stud. Debo Samuel just broke his foot. I think that news broke uh, just in the past day or two. Debo Samuel, broken foot. That stinks because he was really, really good last year and a lot of fun to watch. So sending our best to Debo. I got a sweet – go look at the luminance I have on the uh, channel from last year's 2019 luminance. It's got a very dark colored Debo Samuel card, and he signed it with a silver pen. Oh, it's a beautiful card. If you're a Debo Samuel fan, you want to go check that out. Adam Thielen, Andy Isabella, Devontae Adams, upside down for Marshawn Lattimore, and very nice. I'm in Cincinnati, and I love A.J. Green. Absolute stud of a player. It's been fantastic to watch his career unfold in Cincinnati. Gray-bordered scorecard. Excellent. Under the Radar, one of my favorite inserts in this set, Marlon Mack. And DeAndre Swift, um, out of Georgia, running back. It's the swirly background card, if I remember correctly. I think he went to Detroit, but don't quote me on that. I'm getting older. I've had a lot of concussions, and the 90s were a little wild. So the memory doesn't uh, – <laughs> uh, it comes and goes, you know. Kenny Galladay. 
with a good action shot, reaching back to catch the ball. Fantasy stars again this time. It's James Conner, Stefan Diggs, and Matt Ryan. James Conner suffered some injuries, but a uh, good running back. We'll see uh, if he can bounce back. Jake Fromm's going to start off our rookie. Quarterback out of Georgia, Josh Kelly. Upside down, it's Rico Dottle. Doubt, doubtily. Dottle. I'm going with Dottle. Nice. Joe Burrow, this time in a LSU uniform. So in this box, we got the Joe Burrow base LSU card and the Joe Burrow base Ohio State card. And we also got the Joe Burrow LSU swirly card. So a good Joe Burrow box. Not too bad. Yator Gross Matos. Butchered it. Sorry, buddy. Desmond Patman, Charlie Warner, another guy out of Georgia, Tyler Hunt, and Terrell Lewis is going to round out our hobby box of score. I hope you enjoyed the product. It's a good-looking product overall. Um, year to year, they're pretty consistent in what they do. Um, the inserts are good-looking inserts. Not huge on the fantasy stars, the celebrations, or the all-hands team ones. Uh, the breakthroughs are nice. There's the, the swirlies are very good, and then uh, under the radar and all that. Where's, where's that one? There we go. That Darius Slay, number 220. Uh, really good-looking inserts. So a uh, good, good product, good inserts. Um Sticker autos are what they are. Uh, nobody likes them, but you're going to get them. Um, always rather see them on card, but can't have everything. We got our four autos. We hit the big time one of one. Um, I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm going to come back in a few minutes. We'll do another video. Um, thanks to my buddy Luke for feeding me some information in my ear about the, where guys were drafted and stuff. It's always um, helpful to have him helping. And then obviously you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, Swift got ejected last year for throwing punches at Georgia Tech. Uh, uh, no, I haven't pulled a Joe Burrow um, Bama. I haven't got a Joe Burrow auto. The closest I got was Isaiah Simmons and a Tua. I got a Tua autograph on the on the uh, channel. Make sure you check that out. All right, come back in about 10 minutes. Let me uh, – Clean up my mess and get another box out, and we'll open something. Baseball, football, I don't know. We'll see what's up. Um, the four autos, K.J. Hamler probably being the best. Um, Kareem Hunt I got issues with uh, personally, uh, just not my kind of guy. Uh, that's I'm in Cincinnati, so a green-bordered Cincinnati guy hopefully turns out to be good, but that's a really cool card uh, just for me personally. And then that one of one. Deshaun Watson printing plate, totally unexpected. Uh, hit it late in the in the box too, which added a little uh, a little good drama to it all. All right, that was awesome. A good break. I liked it a lot. A good product. I uh, hope you enjoyed your sneak peek at Score. Come back in a few minutes. We'll do it again. I am Preston. You guys are awesome. Be good. Have fun, and I will see you soon.